Hello, welcome to PCB May. Today, I would like to discuss flexible PCB. Flexible PCB it means can flexible. So I show you some samples to you. Let's look at it. Yeah, this one that says uh, dub site. You have a look at this, and yeah, you you can see they can bench it. And so, also the thickness is uh, zero point uh, one five millimeter, and uh, another one, this one that is a uh, single side, it means uh, one layer. Yeah, you have a look at this, and uh, there there is a stiffer, FR four stiffer. So the thickness is one point six millimeter. You have a look at this. So later I will show the stick up of flexible PCB. Okay, you you have a look at this. This is a four layer flexible PCB stick up, and uh, yeah, the the top layer that is a cover layer and the adhesive, and you know they have a four uh copper layer, so it means uh, four layers. Yeah, and uh, you you have a look at this, but there is a no thickness for each layer. So if you uh, have any question for stick up, you can uh, comment to us. Let me show you the application of flexible PCB. The first one, we often use the uh, laptop board and also the mobile phone. And uh, for some automotive cars, yeah. And so for some like a uh, camera, or there's uh, some solar panels or some medical products, medical device, and also for some uh, aerospace. So uh, later I will uh, show the production process to you. Welcome to PCB May. In this video, we will guide you through the complete production process of flexible PCBs used in everything from smartphones to aerospace systems. 1. Material preparation. We begin with a premium quality flexible copper clamped laminates FCCL. The heart of any flexible PCB, loss of ACCL are unspoiled, cut to side, and through roughly cleaned. Clean nice here is critical as even microscopic dust can impact later processes. 2. Photoresist coating. A layer of resist light sensitive material is ununiformly applied to copper surface. This coating enables us to precisely define circuit patterns when exposed to ultraviolet light. 3. UV explosion and development. Using a high resolution photo mask, we expose the board to UV light. The UV hardens the exposed photo resist, and the unexposed areas are washed away, revealing the fine copper pattern that will became, become the circuit. 4. Etching the circuit. Chemical etching removes unwanted copper, leaving only the design circuit. This stage requires precision to ensure high density circuits and consistent quality across every board. 5. Laser drilling and planting. Next, we do microscopic. Wheels using high speed lasers or mechanical drills. These holes are then copper planted through a series of chemical bases, creating robust inner layers connections. 6. Applying coverlay. A polymer coverlay is laminated onto the circuit. This acts as a protective skin, insulating the chest, enhancing mechanical durability and uh, preserving flexibility. 7. Service finishing. 
to protect the unexposed uh, copper and ensure good sociability, we apply a service finish. Coleman's finishes include ENIG immersion codes, OSP, or immersion team, immersion silver, or HASL, each chosen based on customer needs. Precision cutting, this complete circuit patterns are laser cut or routed to their final shapes. Tight tolerances are maintained to fit exact applications from medical devices to valuable electronics. Nine, final quality control. Every flexible PCB undergoes comprehensive inspection, video checks, electrochemical testing, and bending testing to ensure performance, reliability, and compliance with international standards. This is how we built industry glad flexible PCBs from raw material to final inspection. Every, at uh, every step, we prioritize precision, reliability, and innovation. Thank you for watching.